Hi everyone, my name is Sean, and today I am here to bring you a review of This Mortal Coil by Emily Savada. So This Mortal Coil follows Catherine, who is a genius hacker that is following in her father's footsteps. So in Cat's world, people are implanted with technology to recode their DNA, which basically means that they can change the way they look, they can change their bodies, they can have healing tech, anything like that. It's actually quite interesting. Um, but during this time, a plague breaks out, and her father is considered to be the only person that can help stop the plague happening. However, Lachlan, her father, is unfortunately kidnapped just as the plague breaks out. So when Lachlan is kidnapped, this leads Kat to have to survive the plague and the horrible world on her own for the next two years, and go through life in fear, basically. However, a soldier then arrives with the news that Kat's father has been killed. He also has a message from Kat's father that he was given just before he was killed, saying that he has potentially figured out a cure to help stop the plague. And Kat is the only person that can use it and help Cole release the human race from the plague that they are currently trapped by. So this book has been getting a lot of hype recently that I've seen on social media. In fact, I think it may have been optioned for a film. And I've got to say, I was really disappointed with it. I did not like it. It's safe to say if you enjoyed this book then great. Obviously I didn't. Um, I'm not trying to insult you by saying I don't like this book. I'm just giving my honest opinion and that is that. So I really enjoyed the first few pages of this book. I was gripped straight away and then it kind of went downhill from there. But a big problem that I had was that it was so info dumpy because it's obviously based around DNA, genetics and coding and everything like that. There's a lot of technology and terminology that I didn't understand and I feel like the author knew that the reader wouldn't understand so she explained herself even more and it just, it kept coming up and every time she had to explain something or use a bit of terminology I was just instantly pulled out of the world because it was so info dumpy and it felt like I was reading a book which obviously I was reading a book but it felt like I was reading a story that had been written it didn't feel like an organic natural story it, it felt put together and unrealistic and I just couldn't get into the world enough to switch off to that because every time a bit of terminology or technology come up it would be like and we have this genetic thing because it serves this purpose and it was introduced back here and my father had something to do with it because he's great the concept of this is absolutely brilliant i mean genetics and dna and coding mixed with a post-apocalyptic world yes please but i don't feel like we got much of the apocalyptic world you know i wanted more information on how Kat had survived and how difficult the life was in that world and you know how these people that were essentially blowing up and detonating and passing on the plague affected her life and there was just so many mentions of cool elements that could have been explored with the post-apocalyptic but then weren't explored and I was just like but that's what I want to know about. It just kind of felt like that was on the back burner which is really weird considering that the whole idea of the plot is that they're trying to find a vaccine to save the world from this plague. So Kat, the main character, was so boring. Dear God, this girl had no personality, none whatsoever. She was bloody one way one minute, the next way another minute. Basically, whatever her personality needed to be the su to suit the plot, that's what she was. She was just so boring. I don't feel like she had enough opinions on everything and her emotions and the way she reacted to stuff was so rot, like out of context. You know, there were moments where I think there's a specific scene, and obviously I don't want to give you spoilers, I want this to be a spoiler free review, but there is a specific scene where someone does something to her that's pretty serious and she hardly reacts, like just basically lets it go. And I was sat there reading it like, are you sure? Are you sure you're just gonna let what that person did to you go? Because I don't feel like you should have done and this was supposed to be a really big plot point and it's just kind of been brushed over. She was a kind of character that conveniently knew everything that she needed to know at the right moment at the plot. If something needed to happen, don't worry, Cat knows. Cat can figure this out, Cat can figure that out and it just, it led to me feeling like there was absolutely no conflict because I thought, well, okay, this is going to potentially be a conflict, but don't worry, Cat will fix it. It's like, she's like Bob the Builder. 
Cat will fix it. She's been in the wild on her own, trying to survive an apocalyptic world for two years. You'd think she'd be a little bit more angry and pissed off at the world, but she wasn't. She wanted to save everybody. And to me, that's just not realistic. That's not what you'd expect from a character that's supposedly been through all the shit that she's been through and had to survive on the harsh outside. But it's okay because she's happy and she wants to save everyone. Isn't that what every character's like? It wasn't just Kat that had no personality. I feel like all of the characters in this book needed way more development than they got. They were such shallow, one-dimensional characters and it, it was weird because there's what, you know, a couple of them have quite interesting backstories but they as characters weren't interesting so I just didn't care enough about their backstories even though they could have potentially been interesting. I didn't care. So the plot twist, which obviously I'm not going to tell you about, I guessed pretty early on. Um, it didn't surprise me but the plot twist was glossed over by the characters completely. I feel like none of them reacted to it in a way that they should do, which was a big problem that I had with all of the characters, was just their reactions to stuff. They had none. They just had no reactions, and if they did, it was the complete wrong reaction for the situation that they were in. I felt like a lot of the stuff that needed to happen conveniently happened. Characters' choices weren't really their own choices, they didn't feel organic. They felt like they were there to push the plot along, and it just really didn't didn't sit well with me, I just didn't enjoy it, um, I found myself rolling my eyes a lot at a lot of the stuff they said, um, the romance I really did not like, it was very boring, um, it felt really cheesy and it was really really insta love, um, whilst I understand why to a degree, um, it, I still didn't think it worked, I just, it, the characters just didn't gel well to me. I mean, there were a couple of points, don't get me wrong, where I didn't mind it, I thought it was a little bit cute, but overall it just, it kind of made me, it kind of made me want to vomit a little bit. It was just cringy, I just, I just did not like it. All in all, I gave this 2 out of 5 stars. If I'm being honest, I could probably be a bit harsher and give it 1.5, but it did start out really strong for me and it did have me gripped in the beginning and I can appreciate that the premise and the idea is really interesting and quite strong. In the end it ultimately just fell flat for me and I just did not enjoy it. I can see how this would make a really good movie though or a TV show, I think it's been option for a movie. I can see it making a really good movie and I would watch the movie because I think this would be one of those rare cases where the movie would probably be better than the book, like the 100 TV show is way better than the book, but yeah, I just was not a fan. I don't get the hype. I don't think it's worth the hype. I think there are much better apocalyptic style books out there. Um, and just... I'm frustrated. It was it was disappointing. It's more because I was looking forward to it. And like I said, it started out really strong. And the premise is just so intriguing and interesting. And the world as well. I feel like that was interesting, but it just wasn't explored enough. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, let me know down below if you've read this Mortal Coil and what you think. I know a lot of people enjoy it, so I'm not quite sure how this review will go down. Because obviously mine is pretty much a polar opposite opinion to everybody else's that I've seen. So yeah, I'd love to know what you think of the book if you've read it, if you plan on reading it, blah blah blah. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!